I hope Nintendo doesn't copyright this video. Like most people who own a Nintendo Switch, I did not have a Wii U, so I didn't get to play some of their games until I got the Switch. Games like Bayonetta 2 and the one that we are talking about today, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now keep in mind that this review is only going to talk about 3D World as I have not yet completed Bowser's Fury. That review should hopefully be coming up in a few days unless Nintendo uh, claims this video and takes it down. Like many of you out there, I have been playing Mario games for basically my entire life. And I have to say, Super Mario 3D World has probably been the most fun that I have had with a Mario game. Not only did I have a great time with this game, but so did my family after I convinced them to play co-op with me. This is certainly a game that can be enjoyed playing solo or in co-op with up to four players. However, keep in mind that the game can be challenging with four players as you can accidentally land on a teammate and can risk being launched into the air. You can also accidentally grab a teammate when you're just trying to run. You will also reach certain levels that becomes too complex to complete while in a team, but might be easier to complete in solo mode. Thankfully, your progress stays the same whether you decide to play in solo mode or co-op as you can switch back and forth between the two options. You don't need to start a separate campaign to play in co-op. This game also has a pretty simple story. It has Bowser kidnapping seven different fairies for their magic. There isn't really any backstory and it just jumps you right into the game almost immediately. And that's okay, because we don't need a full backstory for a game like this. With this game, you're getting your typical Mario adventure run from point A to point B while gathering coins and power-ups along the way, and by defeating enemies on your path. The only difference is, obviously, this game is in 3D. A new addition to this game is when playing the Captain Toad puzzle levels, this version of the game now includes four players for those levels, a welcomed addition to keep from having other players wait while player one does all the work. This is important because back on the Wii U version, only player one was able to play those Captain Toad levels. Along with each world that you visit, you would find toad houses that can offer power-ups as well as finding pop-up slot machines. These slot machines earn you coins for matching up the four images. Each match can get you about 100 coins, which can be useful or useless as playing co-op causes the entire team to share lives. And you can either earn more lives from these slot machines or earn no lives at all. With the shared lives, you could potentially get a game over from one level if your team continues to die. Something that I ended up having to use both in solo play and co-op play is the Super Leaf. This leaf turns our characters into a white tanuki that prevents you from taking any damage. I couldn't find the option to turn this off, but you would only receive it if you die a bunch of times on one level. This power up will also only last at one level, as completing the level will revert you back to a standard tanuki. They say that this power up is mostly desired for younger players who may need the extra help to get through the levels but I wasn't able to find a way to turn the option off, but I ended up using it anyway because some levels were pretty challenging to complete. Something I enjoyed was uh, the photo mode that this game includes. There were definitely some fun moments that you can use the photo mode in and a lot of cool features within the photo mode such as different filters that you can play with. However, you can only use the photo mode in solo play. You cannot use it in co-op mode. To wrap this review up, I need to say that this game has a lot to offer in terms of fun, excitement, and enjoyment for anyone and everyone. I would rate this game a 9 out of 10. That's my review for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment below of your favorite Mario game of all time. And don't forget to, to uh, subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys on the next one.